Welcome to my Digital Switch Game Collection Update Part 2. So we're going to go through some arcade games just uh, and exclusive Switch games as well. This is the digital games only. There is a separate video showing my physical games that I made previously and I will do updates to those. Update video to that collection next year. I don't think I showed Arrow Fighters 2 in the last video. We have Metal Slug 3. Frogger. Uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Burnout Paradise, which is, a which is a great port of the game. It's not quite as good as the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One port, but it's pretty good. Pretty sure I'd show Doom 64. If not, then here it is. Another great updated version of that game. Duke Nukem 3D World Tour, which is a port of the original game. You can also play the game with slightly uh, updated graphics and new voiceover uh, for the guy that did the original voiceover for Duke's voice. Or you can uh, turn that off and play with the original uh, graphics and uh, sound uh, or uh, voiceover. Having some focusing issues there. Let's see here. Night Trap, that's another good one. I don't know if I showed that one in the previous video. Panzer Dragoon, updated, or a total remake of the game that was on the Saturn. Very beautiful game. Very enjoyable. I love it. Um, I'll be reviewing some of these games later on um, next year. Resident Evil Re Revelations 2, great game, very challenging, I've not even come close to beating it. Sega Ages, uh, Outrun arcade game, wish I had a string wheel for the uh, Switch, that'd be cool to play it that way. Sonic Forces 2, um, another great game, not quite our, our uh, pretty good game, nonetheless. I believe that's it. All the new ones. Yep, that's it. And some of you might be wondering why I don't have Turok 2 for the Switch. I have it on PC off of Steam, but I actually might get it for the Switch because I do put into play the Switch more than my other consoles. So that is my short update of my digital collection, guys. Look forward to two or three or more of these uh, in next year. So thank you very much for watching.